create an account for Forest from the main page of Forest. There's a in the sort of center, lower center part of the page, there's a create account button. You click on that and you're presented with the create account page. And it's you know, really a sort of a, a basic page. I uh, just ask you to enter your information. You have a company, put it in there. Enter your phone number without any dashes, but make sure you include the area code. If you have a, if you're a licensed forester, you can put your number in there. And then you want to put in your email account. And the, the password that you'll be using to log into Forest. Verify it by typing it in again. And it'll ask you for your physical address. And I'm just going to put in our my office address here in Augusta. And if you have a different mailing address, you can put it in here, or if it's the same as your physical address you put in, you can check this box here and, and skip over this part, but I'm gonna put in our mailing address here at the office, 22 State House Station. And then once you have everything entered here, um, the, the form is going to, as you're filling it out, would prompt you if you didn't get something right. I think you would probably notice I'd, if you don't have a complete phone number in here, it's going to give you some notice that it, it's requiring 10 digits. So I'll make sure you get that in there. And then when everything is done on the page, just click create an account. And you get this notice saying you're almost there. Um, and what it's doing is it's going to send you an email to the email address that you provided on this page for you to verify that you are who you are and this is uh, action that you want to create an account for Forest. So if you go over to your, your email account, you'll see I have one here. Confirm you Forest user account. Open it up. And a very important thing to remember, this is going to what, what you're going to need to know for uh, any sort of notification that you'll be participating in is your force user ID. So you want to keep that somewhere handy so that if either you're filling out a notification or you're asked to be part of one, um, you're going to have to provide that number as well as your last name to the party completing the notification. Um, so just remember that's there and keep it handy. Otherwise, you click activate account. And it's going to take you back over to Forest. And it's going to say, OK, hey, you've activated it. Now let's sign in. And you want to put in the email account. Up on the page to set up the Forest account. And click sign in. And now you're into Forest.